What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back again with another one. And today, of course, I am talking about 2021 because I'm so excited for the new year. I hope you are excited too. I have so much in store for you guys, but I always say that. And then every time I say that, I jinx myself and then I go ghost for like a month. So let me just ignore that thought process. But I do have a lot in store, okay? <laughs> but anyway, in this video, I am talking about things we should do in 2021 if you saw my last video i was talking about things you should not do in 2021 so in this video i'm going to be talking about things you should do in 2021 okay but before we get into that i don't want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so if this is your first time clicking on this video thank you so much for clicking the video be sure to subscribe and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time i post a video and if you are yet again watching another one of my videos thank you so much for being such a great team player and being a part of the TJ fam. And while you're down there, guys, just be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because why not? Okay, <laughs> let's get into the video. All right, guys, again, this is 10 things that you should do in 2021. And be sure after you watch this video, watch the video up here <laughs> talking about the things that you should not be doing in 2021. Okay, <laughs> but let's get into it, guys. Number one be truthful to yourself okay that's the most important thing be truthful to yourself so you're able to live in your truth you don't have to please anybody but you so be truthful to yourself that's number one number two think before you overthink yourself out of an opportunity think before you overthink yourself out of an opportunity that's number two guys Think before you overthink yourself out of an opportunity. Okay? That's very important. Number three. Understand what you hate and stop settling for it. Understand the things that you hate and stop settling for it. Understand the things that you hate and stop settling for it. Meaning, stop doing things that you don't really want to do. That's simple, right? <laughs> Number four. There is never a perfect moment. That's something you must understand. There is never a perfect moment. So, or, so you're waiting. You're going to be waiting a lifetime because there is literally never a perfect moment. So just get up right now and do it. Don't wait. Just do it right now. You never know what the outcome is going to be. You may have an amazing outcome and then you happy that you finally got up off your, your bottom and you, you did it. So stop waiting for the perfect moment because the perfect moment does not exist. Five, grow deeper into your community, which means get out, get out of that. Granted, okay, COVID is going on right now. So, but still, it's still things that you can do. You can get involved in your community. You can go to different social events. Be sure to wear your mask, but just meet new people. Maybe get join a big brother, big sister program, something like that. Grow deeper with your community to develop it because the most important thing that is the future is the youth okay that's very important number six be gentle with yourself especially when you're holding back be gentle with yourself because i don't personally recommend holding back but when you are holding back just be nice and be gentle with yourself and help yourself understand that everything is okay it is not it's not the end so to prevent yourself from holding back, tell yourself, this is not it. This is not the last of me. This is not it. And that helps you be more gentle with yourself. It helps you love yourself a little bit more. And it helps you be patient with yourself a little bit more. The next one, I believe this is six. Read more books. I would say read at least two books a month. Even if they're audio books, listen to two books a month. And imagine how many you will get done by the year. If two is your minimum a month, that means you have read, what, 24 or listened to 24 different books and took in so much different knowledge. You'll be so surprised how your vocab or how far and mentally you'll end up by the end of the year. So as a, at a minimum, set yourself at a two book minimum to read or audio book listen to every single month. Read two books a month okay i guarantee it makes a huge difference in your life 
the next one is seven or this may be eight i lost track i'm sorry <laughs> but get comfortable speaking up for what you need talk about your feelings talk about the things that you don't like talk about things that you do like talk about the things that you need and talk about the things that you want be comfortable talking about you it's, it doesn't always have to be about the other person sometimes it can be just about you talk about the things that you like don't like want don't want need and don't need that's very important you have to be comfortable with that the next one is stop saying yes when your soul says no oh child that's like following your heart when your brain says it's stupid <laughs> it's like following your heart when your brain is telling you you're stupid okay <laughs> don't say yes when your soul says no but then also it's a it's like a turnaround problem in math don't say no when your soul is saying yes that's very important the next one is stop spreading yourself thin build boundaries i cannot say that enough this is something that i have learned in 2020 boundaries are very important boundaries for myself are important and boundaries for the people around me that access me very 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 important stop selling yourself thin and set boundaries that's very important i would say write the boundaries down in your notepad daily put them on sticky notes they can be your daily affirmations to read every day put on um, put reminders in your phone set boundaries or your boundary for the day or your boundary for the week your boundary for the month However you want to do it, make it a goal of, for yourself. But it's very, very, very important to set boundaries. I cannot stress that enough. It really helps you mentally and emotionally get further in your life. The ve Speaking of mental, this is the last one, guys. Commit to your mental, physical, and emotional health. Again, I'll repeat that again. Commit to your mental physical and emotional health meaning as i call i really consider myself an advocate for mental health because life was hard for me and i have been so thankful and so blessed to be able to come this far in life because i was in the darkness okay then again i'm one of those people that believes that darkness doesn't exist unless i don't think light is there or light will ever return Something like that. That quote, I'll put it on the screen. I love that quote. I really believe this is a this is a fact fact. But yeah, you have to be compassionate with yourself or you won't shine. So basically, focus on your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health. All of that is very important. That's very necessary for the new year. So start strong. This is the very first week of the new year. So let's get started, guys, okay? <laughs> There's that, guys. As you know it. These are things you should do in 2021. And as this video comes to an end, be sure to watch my last video of things that you should not do in 2021. So as you know it, guys, I'm Tara J and I'm out. Peace.